Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. Reason I don't have a backdrop, up, my backdrop up today is because I, my parents and I have been cleaning up my room all day. Um, we put some new tiles in and we switched around a couple things. Um, the only things we really switched around though are my laptop desk and my TV stand. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We've been doing that pretty much most of the day. So, yeah. And we're going to do some more of, clean up some more of my room tomorrow as well. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to jump right into today's video today. Um, I'm going to be doing my Royal Rumble entry prediction. So, these aren't my predictions for, like, every single match. That's next month because Royal Rumble is next month. And if you guys have watched some of my videos before, I always do my predictions for different wrestling shows like, the day before or the day of a show. Um, so this isn't my Royal Rumble, like, actual predictions for the entire show, which is, because the Royal Rumble is on January 28th, I think. Um, so, obviously, this isn't my actual predictions video for, like, the whole show. That will probably be coming 27th or the day of the show, the 28th. But today I'm going through the entry predictions. Today's video I'm going to talk about... Today's video, I am talking about the men's Royal Rumble. So, I wrote down, I made a list of all of the, who I can see entering at what number. So, this isn't the actual entrances, this isn't the actual Royal Rumble match. These are just my predictions as to who I think will enter at what number. So, if you guys don't know what a Royal Rumble match is, it's where 30 wrestlers compete, or wrestle. And they start with two, the match starts with two um, superstars in the ring, and they have a men's and women's one every year. So two wrestlers start in the ring, and then every, I think it's two or three minutes, another wrestler comes out, and there are 30 wrestlers that come out. So by the, when all 30 members are in the ring, um, to get eliminated, you have to go over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. There's no pins, there's no submissions, nothing like that. The only way you can win is by being the last person standing and not going over the top rope with, rope with, rope with both feet hitting the floor. You can go through the middle rope or the bottom rope and have both feet hit the floor, but that will not count as elimination. You only have to go over the top rope and hit with both feet hitting the floor. If you go over the top rope, because some people have done this too on the, at the Royal Rumble, like I, say, I think Kobe Kingston's done it, Casey Catanzaro's done it. I remember one year, and Casey Catanzaro, well, she's named, um, she goes by Katana Chance now, but in 20, this was in 2019, I think it was, because I just watched this, the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble, like, yesterday. Um... But, Katana Chance, again, in 2019, she was then known as Casey Catanzaro. She entered the Women's Royal Rumble in 2019, and she was eliminated. Well, not eliminated, but she was about to be eliminated first, and then she landed on her back. Her feet were up in the air, and it didn't count. She went over the top rope, landed on her back, no feet touching the ground. So, that didn't count as elimination. So, basically... You can only be eliminated with both feet hitting the floor when you go over the top rope. So, there's that. And then the last person standing wins and gets to challenge the champion for the championship at WrestleMania, usually sometime in late March, early April. So, this year I think it's April 3rd, 2nd, 3rd? Something like that? I don't know, sometime in April, I think. But anyway, um, I picked out 30 wrestlers and I also have my prediction for the winner so I'll be talking about that too but obviously I will I'll talk about the winner like who I think is winning the Royal Rumbles in today's video and tomorrow's video because tomorrow I'm going to do the women's entry predictions and next month when I do my actual predictions for the actual show I will talk about who I think will win again so anyway if that makes sense. So I wrote down 30 wrestlers and who I think I who I can see entering at what number. So again, this might not this isn't the actual predictions, like this isn't the actual like Royal Rumble, like this isn't confirmed, like I don't work for WWE, I don't know what they're doing for the Royal Rumble. I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know anything about that. So this is just who I think and who I can see entering at these numbers. So the first entrant is I have right here, I have it all on my phone. I did up this list like sometime last week, I think. 
Anyway, so the first person I could see entering the match at number one is Seth Rollins. He's won. He won 2019, I think, the same year his wife, Becky Lynch, did. Um, and in 2019, he entered, what, number 14, I think? So, and he ended up winning. But I don't think... I don't think I've seen him, like... I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of Royal Rumble matches. And I feel like he hasn't entered at, like, really early in the match. So I can see him entering at number one this year. Um, so, and also, for each Royal Rumble, usually at Royal Rumbles, they have, like, huge surprises, like, returns, debuts, that kind of thing, and some people from NXT get called up just for a one-night event, most times. So, the next person, number two on my list, is a return. So, he is, he used to be known as Zack Ryder in WWE, and then he was released. But now he goes by Matt Cardona. Cardona? I think it's Card Cardona. But, yeah. He used to be known as Zack Ryder when he was with the company and he got released, but uh, rumors are speculating now, rumors are coming about, like on Twitter or whatever, that he is apparently going to return very soon. Maybe that could be as soon as the Royal Rumble. So, and by the way, this isn't like, these are my entry predictions, like I've said in the beginning of the video. So, this isn't like who I want to be in the Rumble, this is who I think will be in the Rumble. By the way, although I won't be mad at any of these people in the Rumble. I will not be mad if this is the actual Royal Rumble um, order, if that makes sense. But this isn't, like, who I want to be in the Royal Rumble. Because that, I'm doing a separate video talking about who I would like to see in the Rumble. Not the actual predictions, if that makes sense. These are just my predictions, like, who I think, not who I want, you know? So, number three is Santos Escobar. He got called up to SmackDown from NXT sometime in... October, or something like that. Um, next is Karrion Cross at number four. He has not been in the Royal Rumble yet, so I'm hoping he's in it next month. I was going to say this year, but, like, it's... Yeah, anyway. I, he hasn't been in a Royal Rumble match, so I, I would love to see him be in his first Royal Rumble match next month. So, we'll see what happens there. Next, number five, is Luke Gallows. Number six, this is another return that I'm praying to God happens at the Rumble next month. Big E. He has been out since, I really don't know, sometime this summer or something like that? Sometime in September? I don't know. It's been a, a while. He ended up breaking his neck and put on the shelf. And, yeah, so that's that. Um, he's actually the family favorite in my household. We love him. Um, every time he was on my TV before he ended up breaking his neck. No matter what my mom was doing, like, I'd be in the living room watching Raw, SmackDown, whatever he's on, whatever he's on. I don't miss a single episode of Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. But every time Big E shows up on my TV screen, I was, the first thing I have to say is, like, Mom, Big E's on. She drops everything, like, she'd be playing cards or something. She'd be cleaning or whatever. And she will come in just to watch Big E wrestle or do whatever he has to do on TV. And then she would go back to what she's doing. We used to, do, she used to do that for Otis too, because we used to love Otis, but now, since he's gone with, like, Gable and everything, I mean, I like, I still like him, just not as much as he used to, as I used to, and he's no longer the family favorite, Biggie is, we love Biggie, we stand, <laughs> but yeah, um, he's been out with a neck, a broken neck, um, as Kurt Angle will call it, a broken freaking neck, um, for the past few months, um, and who, this might be a bit too soon for him to be appear at the Rumble, but I thought about it a few months ago. I think it, not too long, I, I, I feel like it's not too long after he broke his neck. Um, he, was, he wasn't he was cleared to wrestle, but he was cleared enough to take his neck brace off. So if he was cleared that quick to take his neck, neck, brace, neck brace off, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what's what with his neck, but he looks good. He, he... I've seen, like, his stories and, like, his Instagram pictures. He looks better. Um, like I said, he was allowed to take his neck brace off a few months ago. And honestly, I wouldn't... I'll be super happy, beyond happy, because I love the guy. Um, but I, I will be kind of surprised, but not that surprised, if he enters the Royal Rumble next month. I'll be surprised, because apparent, I've heard that, like, when you break your neck, it, should, it might take a while to heal. Um... But I also won't be that surprised because, again, he just, he already has the neck brace taken off and he can go without that now. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I, I would love to see him in the Rumble and come back. 
because I just miss him so much, and I miss seeing him on my TV screen every week. Next is Carl Anderson. Number eight, I have The Miz. Number nine is Dexter Loomis. Anyway, so if you guys haven't watched Raw or SmackDown, because I know some of you may not be wrestling fans like I am, um, but if you guys have not watched Raw, you wouldn't know this, but Dexter Loomis and The Miz, for the past, I have no idea, a few months, really, um, ever since Dexter returned, I don't even know when that was, just a couple of months ago, um, Dexter returned and he started coming after him as, like, stopping him, going to his house, that kind of thing. And turns out the Miz was paying him. So about a week, two weeks ago, on Raw, Dexter and the Miz finally had a fight because the Miz, um, as, for some reason, the Miz stopped paying Dexter because he wanted, to, the Miz wanted attention. So he hired Dexter, paid Dexter Loomis to come and stalk him, like, attack him, like, that kind of thing, just to get attention. And then Johnny Gargano, he played, like, detective kind of thing, and he figured out that The Miz was paying Dexter, and so because of that, The Miz ended up stop paying, paying Dexter. The Miz stopped paying Dexter. And, um, yeah, so, Dexter and The Miz wrestled each other about two weeks ago, and if Dexter won, which he did, The Miz would have to pay him all the money he owed him, which was a bag full of money. Like, I'd say the bag was this big, and it was, like, this much full of money. Something like that. So, if Dexter won, which he did, like I said, The Miz would have to pay him all the money he owed him at the time, and Dexter would get, would sign with the company. He, he did, he, wait, English. He was signed in NXT about a year ago, then he was released, and then he came back, and that's what happened, so. And this past week on Monday, it was like two days ago, I think it was, um, because today's Tuesday, yeah, not Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, two days ago. On, not SmackDown, that's Friday's, on Raw, two days ago, there we go. Um, the Johnny and Dexter are now, like, teammates or whatever. Um, they're, like, a team now, I think. They bought, they took all of, well, not all of it, but most of, they had the bag of Dexter's money in his hand, put it on the table of, like, the WWE merchandise, and then said they would like to buy it all, or as much of it as they can. And they put it in, like, a wagon, and they started going out to the arena and tossing them out to the crowd and the audience, like the wrestling fans, which I thought was so cute. And then when, um, when they picked up all of the merchandise and bought it, there was a kid there, and his, I'm guessing it's his dad's arms, um, and Dexter went over, and Dexter, he's a, if you guys don't know who Dexter Loomis is, he's a type of wrestler that does not talk, like me. Obviously I'm talking now, but anyway, I'm, I'm shy in real life, I'm not shy on camera, but in real life I'm, I don't talk, like, not to people. Anyway, if that makes sense. But anyways, Dexter's a type of wrestler that just has a blank stare, like, he doesn't, I feel like he doesn't blink at all. Um, and he just does not talk. And then instead of, like, saying thank you or no problem or you're welcome, he will just give you a thumbs up. He will not speak. He just goes like that. Um, so, like, the other week, the other week, like, two weeks ago when Dexter beat The Miz and got the money he, The Miz owed him, The Miz tried to take the money back, and then Johnny super kicked him in the face. And then gave the money back to Dexter, and Dexter's way of saying thank you to Johnny, thumbs up. So, anyway, there's that. Um, so I feel like if The Miz enters the Rumble, I feel like Dexter will enter right after him. Um, and then The Miz will, like, be super terrified, because, like, The Miz, not The Miz, Dexter, he's, he's kind of like a intimidating superstar. I, like, he doesn't, like I said, he doesn't talk, he just thumbs up, he just has, like, a blank stare, just, like that. He's an intimidating superstar, so I don't blame The Miz for being scared shitless over Dexter. I mean, I love me some Dexter The Miz, he's amazing, but I'm living for the storyline together. But anyway, I can see Dexter entering the Royal Rumble after The Miz, if both of them enter the Rumble, and then The Miz just be scared shitless, so, there's that. 
So, number 10 is Kobe Kingston. He does some crazy shit in the Royal Rumble. He, yeah. If you guys have not watched Kobe Kingston's spots in the Royal Rumble, look him up on YouTube because there has to be some. He's incredible. Number 11, another return, Randy Orton. He has been out with some sort of injury, I think, uh, for a few months. I don't know if he'll return to the Rumble, but I would love that. Um, number 12 is AJ Styles. 13 is Finn Balor. 14 is Edge, which he hasn't been on in a while, on TV in a while. I can't remember the last time he's been on. I think it was sometime in October for Extreme Rules. And the Judgment Day ended up beating him and beating up his wife as well. So, ever since then, we haven't seen him on TV. So, I wonder if Royal Rumble will be the time he, comes, he finally comes back and goes after the Judgment Day for what they did to his wife, Beth Phoenix. Number 15 is Xavier Woods. Number 16 is Dominic Mysterio. 17 is Dominic's dad, Rey Mysterio. So at Clash of the Castle, at Clash of the Castle, I think it was, I think that was sometime in September or something, Dominic ended up betraying his dad and turning heel on Edge and his dad. And every time Dominic talks about his dad, like the other week, she, someone, Dominic was like talking about his dad to somebody um, from SmackDown because Rey, Rey has been... Dominic has been getting on Ray's nerves, and Ray, like I said, Ray is his father, by the way. Um, Dominic has been getting on Ray's nerves so much, Ray ended up leaving SmackDown because he couldn't handle it anymore with his son. He ended up leaving Raw and moving to SmackDown to get away from his son. Like, you know it's that bad when you want to get away from your own kid, right? So, yeah, so I can see Dominic entering and then Ray entering right after him and just going ham on him, like, Ray, Dominic has told Ray millions of times, like countless of times, hit me, Dad. You know you want to hit me. I put you through so much. Ray has never hit him. And I get it. You wouldn't want to hit your own kid, right? So, I mean, I know, it's, I don't like getting on the subject, so I'm not going to get into it. But, yeah, I know Ray, like, Dominic is Ray's son. Ray doesn't want to hit his own son. So, I mean, maybe Ray will enter the Rumble right after Dominic and just finally be like, okay, Dominic has been calling me his deadbeat dad for the past couple weeks. He beat me up in my own home on Thanksgiving. Like, I'm going to go ham on this man. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what, what happens, but I can see, I can kind of see that happening. 18 is Matt Riddle. 19 is Bobby Lashley. Number 20 is another return, which I'm praying this also happens. Pat McAfee, he has been away for the past three months, maybe. Um, cause he went away for like this, uh, this other sport, a college football, I think it was. Um, but I, my mom and I, we looked at Facebook, um, I, about a month ago and it said something like Pat Maxey is scheduled to make his WWE return in January. What's in January? The Royal Rumble. So, I mean, if Pat is going to return at the Royal Rumble, if Pat is going to return next month, that's what I meant to say. The Royal Rumble could be the place to do it. That would be the perfect timing. So I'm going to go with Pat McAfee for number 20. Number 21 is Gunther. 22, number 22 is Logan Paul, which he has been heavily involved in WWE the past year. And he's actually amazing. If you guys haven't watched even just a little bit, like one minute or even half a minute of Logan Paul versus Roman or any of Logan Paul's matches so far in WWE, he's amazing. Say what you'll, say what you'll want about him, but he is so good in the ring. So I would love to see him in the, into the Royal Rumble. Like Bad Bunny did last year. He was great when he had, I think it was one match. The only match he had, I think it was, he was amazing. And I really think he should be offered a full-time contract at some point. Uh, but anyway, Logan Paul is number 22. Number 23 is Omos. Number 24 is Dolph Ziggler. 25 is Braun, is Braun Strowman. 26 is Sami Zayn. 27 is another huge, huge return. Which apparently people are saying that he can return. And apparently... I've also seen this on Facebook. Facebook. Um, WWE are currently discussing having this man come in and win the Royal Rumble. It is The Rock. I would love that. I've heard rumors so many times about Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns is the current champion, has been champion for the past two years, has not lost a match in almost three years. So, I mean, if Roman's going to lose the title after a two-year-long reign, a reign as dominant as this one, I feel like someone huge like The Rock or, I don't know, The Undertaker or something, someone huge should be the one to take the title from him, and The Rock could be that person. 
So, The Rock could enter the Royal Rumble, win, and go to WrestleMania and defeat Roman Reigns to become the new champion. I would be so here for that. I love Roman, but I would lose it over that. Um, number 28 is someone from NXT. The only NXT person on this list, which is Braun Breaker, the current NXT champion. 29 is Bray Wyatt. And number 30 is another return, Cody Rhodes, which every video, every Instagram post, anything I've seen about entry predictions always has Cody Rhodes at number 30. And some even say that he could come in and win. So, But I don't think so. On my list, by the way, that's the last person, by the way. On my list, I have the winner being The Rock. Based on what I've heard, him being the potential winner, I'm honestly, I'm here for it. I think The Rock will win. Uh, that I've been saying that for the past couple years. Someone could return and win. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. But that's my entry predictions and my current winner predictions. I don't know if that might change as the month, as the days goes on. But yeah, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. Bye, guys.